So today we're going to start off with a story that I wanted to tell about how thankful I am to Nintendo for how they have handled the SNES Classic Edition. Uh, I've been critical of Nintendo's handling of the NES Classic Edition and I was critical of the SNES Classic Edition's pre-order issues. So yes, Nintendo did it. They have fought back against scalping, fought back against their own underestimating of the market with the NES Classic, and they are providing more than ample supply of SNES Classics so far, and it looks like they have plans to continue to supply the, the chain of demand for months to come, which is excellent news. Thank you, Nintendo. You actually did something I didn't think you were going to do. I thought you were just doing a bunch of PR speak when Reggie fils came out and said, hey, look, we're going to massively uh, re, you know, restock quicker, have more stock available, and provide a heck of a lot more stock and a heck of a lot more total units than they did for the NES Classic. Now, the NES Classic Edition worldwide, so combined sales were 2.5 million units. SNES Classic is probably going to shatter that because even with all these, the, these huge amounts of stock, they are selling out. And that's good. That means that the demand and the supply, the supply being in such a high amount and the demand being in such a high amount are almost being met. And with regular restocks coming, I don't foresee this being an issue in the future. And I, the reason I say this purposely is to combat against scalpers is because, one, Reggie fils literally said, do not buy from scalpers. We will have ample stock. So Reggie already said they obviously recognize that there's an issue with the scalping market in North America. On top of that, uh, we have people like CND. Now, for those who don't know who CND is, he's Captain Nintendo, dude. He has his own YouTube channel. You guys probably know him more than my own channel. Uh, he's got a couple hundred thousand subscribers. He was the first person. I uh, kind of blew up around the time that he was the first person to get a Nintendo Switch uh, officially in North America. Obviously, there were people that got it sooner, but you know what I mean. Like the official, if you're looking at world records, there's always like steps you have to go through. And he he got he was the first person in line in the Nintendo New York store. He waited a whole month out in line. Uh, he took over for Triforce Johnson, who currently owns a world record for the most uh, Nintendo first, you know, being the first person to get it in North America. But whatever. It, it was really cool. He seems like a good good guy. And he was out there for the SNES Classic. He did a 10-day early wait in New York at the Nintendo New York store. And things were going fine. He was first in line. Everything was going great. And they threw like this 90s party where 150 people uh, would get wristbands to go to this 90s party. And obviously those 150 people would be the ones allowed uh, to buy the SNES Classic Edition at midnight. And everything seemed fine. Uh, they were supposed to come out and hand out wristbands. They announced they were going to come out early for wristbands. Uh, they were supposed to do it at 4, then they ended up at 2.15. And this happened. I seriously recommend don't go down there at all. Don't do, like... If you're going, if you're going to do this, no, 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 no. Seriously, they're going. To, they'll do something. They got more guards coming in now. They're yelling. I hear yelling in there. Well, get in there, white boy. No, I'm scared. I don't want to be involved in that. I have my wristband. Cops come out and stuff. All the scalpers made it way too dangerous, so they told us they're shutting it down. They're clearing out the entire line for tonight. So, PM Nintendo New York tweeted out that the wristbands were going to be handed out at 2:15 instead of 4 because there was already so many people. That kind of threw everyone into a little bit of a frenzy, but they started handing them out. So obviously, I got mine, and about 60 other people got theirs as well. Then we get to my friend Jacob. He was in line. He got his. And then things started to get a little spicy. Oh my god, Jacob, explain what happened. Boing. Okay, so I was around 50th in line, and about 10 to 20 spots behind me, just a bunch of people just cut the line as soon as they started giving out the wristbands. So after it got me 10 down, 
there was just yelling and all this stuff and the managers giving out the wristbands were just like, no, can't do this anymore. We don't know who's supposed to be in line. And so they just went back into the store and it was hectic. And I just left the situation to, <laughs> I didn't want to be a part of that. At this point, managers are inside. They're not, they can't hand out any more wristbands. They don't know what is happening. A whole group of angry people, you know, some that cut the line, some that didn't, all swarm in right into the into the Nintendo store right there they're right in that in that um, area when you walk in they literally start to surround the two managers it's getting a little hostile we can hear yelling and arguing from inside eventually one police officer shows up tries to you know simmer it down um, everyone's just basically everyone's demanding for a wristband at this point a few minutes after that we get about five or six other cops that go in there and they tell everyone you have to leave you have to get out of the store unless you're a legitimate customer you have to get out of the store now the police and the few of the managers come out of the store and they tell everyone um, online that you have to clear it out it's become unsafe they can't do it anymore so everyone all the way down the block um, that got a wristband or not had to leave so obviously these scalpers thought they were gonna make a lot of money but if they did any bit of research they would have seen that Nintendo said multiple times hopefully to get around the craziness they will have them in stock Reggie even said yo we're gonna have them in stock don't buy them off scalpers you'll be fine it is Saturday and they're still lining up they are still selling them they did it all day Friday all day today Saturday who knows how long they're gonna keep doing it for they have plenty in stock all right and I'm really hoping that is still the case because then these scalpers will not make any money off of them. So for those wondering, uh, scalpers were really messing things up when it came to the line uh, to get the, cl the SNES Classic Edition. They were uh, causing issues at the back of the line. They were trying to cut in line. Uh, they were even getting in the face of Nintendo employees about trying to get their hands on this thing, all because they were hoping to make all this money on it. And the market for it has quickly sank. Uh, initially, around 12.05, 12.10, I saw some postings of the SNES Classic Edition for as much as $300, and now we've rapidly seen those decline. Uh, I think the last posting I saw was around $100, $120, uh, which is not much of a markup, but trust me, don't dive in. The reason the prices are sinking is because there are so many of them out there. People don't need to buy from scalpers. Don't give these scalpers extra money. Save your money for Nintendo. Don't buy from scalpers until Nintendo's done making the system and you can't find it brand new anymore on store shelves. But right now, it's in plentiful stock, and I just, I, I'm so thrilled. Finally, Nintendo has done something about a stock situation uh, and done it correctly. Oh man, who thought this would happen? years ago who thought this would happen after the nes classic situation and the amiibo situation and the switch situation whoever thought that nintendo would finally get it 100 percent right oh <sighs> now for those wondering no i do not have an snes classic edition it's just kind of one of those things i didn't have the money to get it but it sounds like as long as i have the funds to get one sometime this holiday i'm gonna be able to pick one up and i definitely want it because i want a legit copy of Star Fox 2 uh, plus, right now, I have no legal way to play my, uh, you know, what used to be my favorite game of all time. Currently, my second favorite game of all time, Secret of Mana. That's on the SNES Classic Edition. I can't wait to play that. Maybe do some live streams of it with you guys. Uh, I'm just so excited. I can't wait. Thank you so much, Nintendo. You did something extremely, extremely right. I have zero things to criticize with you about right now, about your handling of the SNES Classic Edition day one uh, and moving forward for right now. I, I'm so thrilled that Nintendo has recognized demand and are supplying demand and literally uh, is making comments and remarks improving it with their stock that they are trying to combat scalpers to make sure people don't need to pay premiums to get their products. Oh, finally. Anyways, folks, like this video if you like it. Dislike it if you do dislike it. I am Nathaniel Rumpeljantz from Nintendo Prime. As always, folks, if you want more videos like this, subscribe. If you would like to show some support for us, we are almost to our goal, our $100 stretch goal on Patreon. We are $3 at the time of recording, $3 short of our $100 goal. That's one more $5 subscription to get our podcast early. And then our podcast will become a weekly podcast. And what's great about when it becomes a weekly podcast is there's going to be more special guests. Right now, the podcast is kind of a fly by the seat of our pants every other week. But with it becoming a regularly scheduled thing weekly, I have lots of plans for scheduled guests. And I know some people are criticizing me, uh, not letting people talk. I understand. I appreciate it. I really only do that to Eric. 
Uh, <laughs> he's my best buddy. Uh, I need to stop cutting him off and treat him a little better. He he deserves so much better. He's such a great friend. Um, and yeah, I, I definitely I want to get some more guests on and create some more uh, conversations around Nintendo. Because why not? You guys hear enough from me as is. All right, folks. I will catch you in the next one.